this is a dual evaluation. The main one is on this uh, Chicago Electric Power Tool Company's reciprocating saw available at Harbor Freight. I've used this one. You can tell this blade started out completely white and it's worn quite a bit. And I don't know if you can tell on the video there's some discoloration from my using it. So I've had it a little over a year if I can remember right. Used it several times, but again, I'm not a contractor. I'm just a homeowner, so it's occasional use. And then I already did one on this uh, foldable workbench, but I'm actually going to put it to use and see how it holds when I try and uh, use this saw. I had a large amount of wood flooring delivered and the pallets that they were on, which use a pretty hard wood, I had no way of disposing of. I've, I've downsized in the community I live in. Uh, I would have to cut it up, make it small enough to fit in a trash bin. So that's what I actually did with it. I also cut down a small tree uh, about that diameter and then cut it up and just a few other odds and ends that I've done with it. But I've had it a couple years. It's held up really well. One nice feature of the saw is there's no tools required to, to tr change blades. It's kind of spring-loaded and that's all there is to it. You can also take this blade and turn it the other direction. It holds just as tightly. On the workbench, this is expanded as far as it will go. You can adjust these different places. And then you do have to use and crank both handles for it to go in and out. Otherwise, it will go at an angle, which that may come in handy for an odd sized piece of wood or an angled piece of wood. So here's the uh, sample board. Crank these in. Very good and tight. I should mention it is very old speed, and uh, so that comes in handy also. One thing I almost forgot to mention: it not only is it variable speed, this top button. You can pull and you can change the angle to any angle. Wherever you stop, you can lock it in several different points. And it will go both directions. So that's an additional nice feature of the uh, Chicago Electric reciprocating saw. I'm going to cut just on the inside of these nail or screw holes. Give me a nice board when I'm done. So here's an example. I apparently did not have those tight enough. So let me redo this. I'll make them tighter. Make sure it wasn't the fault of the table. I'll make sure it was my fault. I just didn't know how much I could stress these handles. Okay, that, that seems pretty tight. Let's do it again. This, this cut I'll go all the way across and see how well it does. Here's a close-up of the cut that I got. There's some sawdust on there. Nice smooth on this side. A little splintering on the back side. But that's to be expected with the old blade that I used. So overall, happy with the saw and also happy with the table. Obviously you need to make sure it's tight enough to handle the job you're doing. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing. It's no cost to you, it's absolutely free and it really helps me out. Thanks again.